Hi! Welcome to Luxury in Moderation, where we appreciate the finer things in life without going overboard. So as some of you may know, I actually packed up my apartment last November and I've kind of been a nomad for the last few months, just traveling and living out of a suitcase. But I finally found a new apartment in a new city. So this is the new setup. I'm still tinkering with the lighting and everything. So please let me know if you have any suggestions if this lighting works. I know the room is kind of dark, but I finally been able to unpack a little bit. That's why I'm reunited with my Hermes pillow and together with my Hermes blanket and I wanted to share with you guys how I actually packed my bags for the move because I know some of you guys might be in the same situation where you're moving and you're not sure the best way to pack these luxury items so in a second I'm actually gonna take you down to the ground and unpack my bags with you guys as well as show you how I'm going to be storing or displaying my bags as well as the rest of my setup here before we get into it if you're new here welcome my name is Joanne and every week I upload videos about luxury handbags and other luxury lifestyle products. So if you like this kind of content, please remember to like this video and subscribe below. Now let's get into the bags that I haven't been able to use for the last few months. Okay, so these are the two bags that I used mainly to fill my luxury bags with. And you can see I have a big suitcase here. And this is a really old suitcase and it's very heavy so i don't even think they make this anymore but it had the capacity that i needed to fill most of my really expensive items and because it's so heavy i feel like it's kind of hard to steal because it's so hard to lift up like if anyone tried to steal this they would just be like running around with like I don't know, 50 pounds. So that was kind of a reason for me to use it as well. And then on this smaller bag here, uh, it's kind of like a duffel, but basically you can see I have my Hermes Birkin in there in the duffel bag. The handle is very tall and um, it sticks up. So that's why I wanted to use like a softer bag where it's more malleable, where the handles wouldn't be crushed and I could just leave it hanging out. But basically for my move, I drove in my car instead of flying. So I thought this was the best setup for me where I could take these two bags into my hotel overnight as I was crossing the country and not have to worry about carrying too many bags or boxes where it'd be obvious that I'm like moving things back and forth from my car. This one does have wheels, so basically just an overnight bag with a couple bags in there and then the rest of my expensive things with me so I could keep these two with me at all times. If you're flying, obviously this suitcase would be too big as a carry-on, but what I would do is use the biggest carry-on size I could find and then place my most expensive items in there so you still are having those most expensive things with you at all times that won't be lost and then honestly i would probably beg my husband to also take a carry-on with my most expensive things and then that could be his carry-on because you know he doesn't have that many big expensive things that you know i wouldn't want out of my sight so that's probably what I would do. But let's start unpacking the bags here. I'll start with this one because it's just less bags and easier to get through. So I did double up as much as I could. In my Birkin, there's actually a lot of space inside, as you can see. So not only did I keep my Chanel walk in here, so there was tons of room to fit the Chanel walk. So we're gonna place that. And then I also had in this bag my LV Pochette Matisse because it is thinner and I didn't want it to get crushed in the bigger one. So I put that in there as well. So that was all that was in like my duffel bag. And then let's get into this big one here. This one actually has so much more capacity than I thought. And because it's a hard case, I felt like it kind of protected the bags. Um, but let me show you how it's packed first and then I'll kind of take them out and place them on the shelf as how I'm thinking of displaying them. So first I have a lot of the flat things on top. So I have my Longchamp crossbody. Then I have my Bottega. This is basically a flat bag, so I knew that 
it wouldn't be damaged just by um, laying flat. I do have some stuffing in here though. Then I have my fun little soda can tab bag. And then this is my Dior black evening bag. So I had that on top. It's very thin. So it actually had a perfect spot right at the top here. And then this is my garden party which I stuffed both my Chanel classic flaps in. So this is the medium size classic flap. And then further inside is actually my jumbo. So, oh, and I also have my Bottega knot clutch in here because there was enough space. So again, just trying to, you know, rush and egg things as much as possible, things that would fit inside other things. And then here I have my Louis Vuitton Galleria GM. Again, pretty able to lie flat. And then finally, this Burberry bag that needed stuffing because it needs structure. And then my expensive jewelry. So that is how this big suitcase was laid out. It had my most expensive items in it. And now I'm going to just set them up and I'll see you on the other side. Right here, I'm noticing that the corners of the garden party are a little bit squished, so I'm trying to just straighten them out. I think I will keep this bag stuffed and it will regain its shape. up with for now um, basically I have too many bags for this little case and I still have even more bags to put on it like my contemporary bags like my Tory Burch and Kate Spade and coach bags so honestly even though this like straight on really looks beautiful to be more practical and functional Honestly, I'm probably going to put it sideways because then I can just have access to more bags. Like I can put my Coach and Tory Burch there. And then for my Chanel Classic Flaps, I really want to use my Chanel Jumbo more this year because honestly, last year I didn't use it at all. So I really have to start using it and I don't want it stuck in the back anyways. So I'm probably going to put it sideways like this. And because this case is a darker wood finish, I am probably going to put some white tissue paper here just to make sure there's no color transfer on those lighter bags. And then for up here, originally I had two of these handbag holders, which I really wanted to use because I do like um, protecting the handles and having them in shape if I can. But there's honestly just not enough space because the garden party is so wide that it just like takes up most of the surface. So I condensed it down to one. Here's the one that I'm not using. And these are just like $37 on Amazon. It came in a set of two and the quality is not that great. I don't know if you can see, but this one actually came with a huge scratch and they're just pieces of metal that are welded together. But I thought for you know $37 for two that they would work fine. There are a lot of options of these anywhere, but I like these ones in particular because they are curved on top. Most of the ones that you see are just one bar, so I didn't want my handles to become so narrow. I like having the curve here. So that's where these two bags are sitting. Then again, for the bottom, I am going to, again, move everything sideways just so I can fit more bags. Um, these are my evening bags that I probably won't use as much. And then I still haven't really decided what I'm going to do about the boxes. 
this one is huge so this is the one that my garden party came in and i'm not sure like if i want to display them or put them in storage so the thing i showed in the video are these moisture soaking balls because i don't want moisture to like start rotting the boxes or the bags so if i store them i'd probably use one of those but i mean i have a lot of boxes i don't know if it would be cool to like stack them on the ground here just next to my filming pouch or is that just like way too showy but i do have a lot of orange boxes and you know i know some people like to display them and stack them all up i don't know let me know what you guys think and then just to show you guys the rest of the space a little bit more this is going to be my work desk. I'm going to be editing this video in a second at that computer. I have kind of like a gold, rose gold thing going on. I don't know if it really matches, but that's just how everything turned out. And then of course we go back around to my filming couch. So this is my space now, which makes me very happy. So I hope that was helpful and interesting for you guys to see how I packed my items and how my new setup is. Please let me know your thoughts and feedback on my setup here. I would love to incorporate your suggestions and I can't wait to film more videos in this room for you guys. So please remember to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell and I'll see you.